Alright, welcome everybody to the last night of SPL Qualification Tournament number 2. I hope you are all having a great night as we get set to begin here. Coming up first, we got the Toronto Penguins going up against the Cowtown Guppies. As we look to the side, our next four pro teams for season number one. Let's take a look at the lineups. For the Toronto Penguins, they have Donut, Cactus, Lemon Bond, and Panther. And as for the Cowtown Guppies, they have Ghetto, Starfish, Mugzard, Robert, I-9, and Tetsu the Ghoul. The Toronto Penguins had a chance at a pro spot in the last qualification tournament. However, they took a uh, loss to the St. Cloud Storm. As for the Cowtown Guppies, this is their first shot at a pro spot. Coming off that win over the Atlanta Terror, getting a chance here against the Toronto Penguins. It'll be interesting to see who can take this matchup and claim that first pro division spot of the night. Also, as you guys might be noticing, my internet's fixed now. I'm not dropping frames anymore. It's great. So, happy about that. Oh, I should start predictions. I forgot to do that, didn't I? There you go. Predictions have been started. Y'all can make your predictions now as we wait for everybody to fill into the lobby here. Well, if you're worried about Ghoul, it looks like Ghoul will be playing tonight, it seems. As of right now, the Guppies have Tetsu the Ghoul, Ghetto Starfish, and Mugzard in the lobby. I'm thinking that will be the starting three here tonight, but maybe I'm wrong. Mugzard obviously coming off some pretty big games against Atlanta, actually. So. I'm sure that uh, he is coming in with a bit of confidence coming up against the Toronto Penguins here. Sounds like the uh, Penguins are getting some restarts in. Due to some internet issues for them, so we'll just give that a second, let them get the restarts. <laughs> in ads before the stream. Hi, noob. And hello to everybody who is tuning in to watch all of these matches. We have some pretty interesting matches on deck for tonight, so I hope you guys are all excited for it. As we can also look at the predictions here, unsurprisingly, we got 73% going for the Toronto Penguins compared to 27% for the Cowtown Guppies. Like I said, still just waiting on Toronto to get those restarts in. Hopefully, uh, get everything fixed on their end. Also, shout out to Rominator who pointed out to me before the stream that I have 669 followers now. Nice. Alright, let's see. <laughs> I'm gonna watch to see if anybody makes sure that number goes down. Yeah, I'm just glad that my internet's, like, working again. God, it was so annoying for the last couple of days. 
but no drop frames, we're back to the highest quality possible. I'm very happy. Also, these lineups are wrong. I'm an idiot. Hold on. I completely forgot. Toronto doesn't have Cactus anymore. They have Jack. I, I, I just never updated it. I've, I have lied to you all. <laughs> I just never took the time to update it. So, Toronto has Jack, not Cactus, on the, on the roster. Here, hold on. Oh, never mind. They're, they're filling into the lobby, so... Just... Thought did not cross my mind at all today when I was putting together the lineups. Alright, looks like Toronto is in the lobby. So we're just waiting on ready-ups here from both sides, and then we can get this one going. Looks like Tor uh, Toronto will be, unsurprisingly, going with Panther, Lemon Bond, and Jack. Not Cactus. Cactus is no longer on the roster. He has disappeared from Slapshot. Vanished. After the last tournament. So it will be Jack, the former Portland Porcupine, and Portland Platypus. Well, I guess we are waiting on Ghetto at the moment, so we are going to continue waiting here. Match starting a bit late. Before you point it out, I know, the lineup is wrong on the screen. But that's what you're going for, Amtub. I've been wanting to switch off the screen for the past five minutes after noticing, but... People aren't readying it up. Oh, yeah, it's apparently... I don't know. We were waiting on the penguins and then Ghetto Starfish needed more time. Whatever. Let me just make sure both teams are ready to go, and then we will get this one going. All right. Looks like both teams are ready. So let's get this one underway here. Uh, OBS? Oh, yes, you're gonna, okay, there we go. It picked up the game. Thank God. All right, here we go. Game number one underway as Panther tries to put that one into the net. We've got Toronto in red. Guppies in blue as Panther on the shot there out in front of the net. Ghetto Starfish trying to send that puck away. Goes right to Panther in front of the Guppies net who puts that one in. And only 11 seconds into game number one. They one nothing score here for the Toronto Penguins. As Lemon Bond sends up one around boards to Jack. Jack's getting it up here, looking. We'll get that pass over to Panther. Panther trying to find Lemon Bond, doesn't quite connect. And now Mugzard looking, trying to put that shot on net. But Jack stops it. Lemon Bond now will send that one around boards. Panther will not get to it as Go Starfish sends it back. But again, Lemon Bond will get that puck. This time it will get up to Panther. Who in the corner now? We'll dump this one back to Lemon Bond. Lemon Bond sending up here for the Penguins. We'll send it around boards. We'll not find Panther on that one there. Let's go. Starfish trying to get that one to Ghoul. Ghoul in the corner will lose control of that puck as Jack skates it back here for the Penguins. Tries to get set up. Risky pass out in front. Ghetto takes that shot. Jack comes back and makes that save and dumps the puck away. 
Bugs there now will set up here for the Guppies. Try to get that pass out to Ghoul. It gets intercepted by Lemon Bond. Lemon Bond on the boards. We'll send it around boards and we'll find Panther. Panther looking for a chance. Gets over to Lemon. Doesn't quite connect, actually. Now Muggsard looking, trying to dump that puck away. Goes right to Panther. Panther trying to take that shot. Got tipped off of Muggsard's stick and back behind the Penguin's net. So now Lemon Bond from the boards just dumping that puck away. And it'll be Tetsu the Ghoul getting control of it here for the Guppies. Scan it around, trying to get that pass to the Muggsard. Connects Muggsard, trying to get that one out to Ghoul at center ice. Lemon Bond right there. Panther looking, scanning this puck down. Ice two on one. Good pass to Lemon Bond, but good defense there by Ghoul to make the save. Now I'll keep it a one goal game here as Panther gets another chance from the blue line. Skates it in. Shot wide. Jack around boards will not find Lemon Bond on that pass. Lemon Bond will have to skate back, take control of it. Sending it around boards. Panther right there. Lemon Bond again. Skating it around. Center ice. Takes that shot wide of the net. Panther. Again looking. Gonna maybe go for the wraparound here. Muggsard gets in the way, but Panther still finds that wraparound regardless. And the Penguins will take a 2 to nothing lead here in game number one. On the boards, Panther. Passing that one back to Jack. Jack taking control of it here for the Penguins. Going for that long shot. Ghetto stops it as we reach the halfway point here in game number one. The, the Penguins hold a two-goal lead. Almost three-goal there. As Jack goes for the cross ice shot just wide. Lemon Bond now takes that puck at the blue line. Skates it up. Good save by Ghetto Starfish. Panther off the rebound. Shot just wide of the net. As Muggsard has to dump that puck away. Panther. Not only have Mug back behind the Toronto net. Mug almost getting control of that one. We'll now get that pass out to Ghetto. Ghetto trying to get it back to Muggs. Gets stolen away by Panther. Panther will lose control of that one. Goes back to Jack. Jack from behind the Toronto net. Under two minutes left. Skates out in front of his own net. Skating it up, going for the long shot from center ice, and hits it for the Toronto Penguins, making it a 3 to nothing game there, and the nice shot from Jack. So we are under two minutes left now. Penguins up by three, looking good here in game number one. As Lemon Bond gets that one to Panther, Panther can't get it on net. Cool. Looking for Cowtown, trying to get that pass to Muggsard. Instead, stolen by Lemon Bond, and right away off that intercept, finds that shot into the top corner. And Lemon Bond makes it a 4 to nothing game now for the Toronto Penguins as they are pulling away here in game number one. Panther on the boards. Pass back around to Jack. Jack back behind the net, skating it out. Good pass up to Lemon Bond. Lemon Bond going to fight for it and dump it back behind the Cowtown net. Bugs trying to get this one over to Ghoul. Ghoul can't get to it before Jack can. Get a Starfish trying to dump this puck away. The Lemon Bomb will take it. What's the goal differential for a Mercy? Eight. Has to be an eight goal differential for a Mercy to occur here in SPL. As Jack looking for that puck. Lose it to Ghetto. Now Tetsu puts that one on net just wide. Lemon Bond. Try to fight for that one on the boards here as Muggs takes control of it. Dumps it back behind the Penguins net. Panther right there. Panther. Dumping that puck down. Get to Starfish. We'll take control of it here. 50 seconds left. We'll send it over to Ghoul. Ghoul in the corner. Not only of Jack and Lemon Bond. Ghoul gets it away from Jack. Trying to get it past Lemon Bond here and will, but loses control of the puck. Lemon Bond center ice. Shot wide of the net. As Ghetto. Around board stopped by Panther. Jack. Bouncing that one off the boards. Ghoul can't quite take control of it. Mugs are a chance out in front of the Penguins net. They're just trying to force that one in, but can't do it. As it looks like game number one here will be going to the Toronto Penguins once that clock hits zero. Panther trying to get that shot on net. Gets stopped by Ghoul. Ten seconds left. Ghetto trying for one last goal here. Ghoul almost own goaling it as Muggs goes for the shot. Easily stopped, and that will end game number one here. Four to nothing, our score. Penguins dominate in game number one. Can they keep it up here in game number two and take the series? Or can the Cowtown Guppies find a way to come back? Looks like Jack is... Asking for a hold here.
for whatever reason. Looks like we are just waiting all around at this point. <laughs> so just waiting here for everybody to get readied up once again before we can start game number two reminder that coming up after this series will be the Salt Lake City Stampede going up against the Brooklyn Bandits that will be our only match of the night that isn't a pro qualification match. That is actually a round two match that wasn't able to be played last night. Thank you, Dynamite. Appreciate it. I mean, 5 megabyte upload, like, is that really that bad? Am I dumb? 5 megabits per second? That's like average, isn't it? Well, I gotta, gotta go over to chat to press 1. Hey, Dynamite, thank you for the Prime sub. Appreciate it. For four months. All right, just going to make sure that we are ready to go now that everybody is back on their teams. We still waiting on Ghoul. I know Ghoul asked to wait. All right. Here we go. Game number two underway. Coming off the face off here. Panther taking that shot right over Ghetto Starfish and in. What a shot there by Panther to start off game number two. And once again, Toronto is up to an early lead. Just five seconds in. One to nothing over the Cowtown Guppies. As Mugzard taking control of that puck here at center ice, looking for a chance to get past Panther. Panther will just steal that puck away, look for a shot, get stopped by Ghoul. Lemon Bond, center ice, skates this one in, looks for a shot, gets stopped by Ghetto Starfish. Panther, blue line, takes that shot just off the side of the net. Ghetto trying to get that pass down to Ghoul, but doesn't quite connect as now Jack and Ghoul fighting back behind. Toronto net, Jack's dump attempt, stopped by Muggs. We'll get another pass over to Lemon Bond, though. Lemon Bond up to Panther. Panther in the corner. Trying to hand this one off to Lemon Bond. Lemon Bond going to fight with Ghetto Starfish. That puck finding its way to Ghoul. Ghoul getting that one over to Ghetto. Ghetto trying to skate that puck up. We'll lose control of it, and Jack will take control here for the Penguins, but send that one right to Ghoul, who cannot get that shot on net. Jack. And that pass over to Lemon Bond. Lemon Bond can't get a stick on it, though. Ghoul one-on-one. -on -one. Can't quite find the angle from the boards there. Jack trying to get that pass up to Panther. Panther will take control of the puck. Has an open net, and Ghoul almost comes back to that one. But not quite. As Panther skates that one out in front of the net, Ghoul kind of got a stick on it, but not enough to stop that shot from going in. And the Penguins will take a 2 to nothing lead. There's Ghoul on the boards here. We'll get it away from Panther. Skate it up. Look for a shot here, maybe. Scan it in. Penalty of Lemon Bond. Gets that pass to Ghetto. Ghetto shot wide of the net. Ghoul now on the boards. Right from the pass out. Panther stops him. Not Mugs. Looking for a chance. Pass out to Ghoul. Connects. Ghoul now. Center ice. Try to get that pass back to Mugs, but Panther stops it. Panther skates that one in. Can't find that shot. Jack dumping that one back behind the Guppy's net. Panther looking for a wraparound, maybe. Skates it back to center ice. Mugzard looking to pressure here. Can't quite do it. Panther maintains control of the puck. 
And he'll keep it here at center ice. Skated around again. Looked for that shot just wide of the net. Cool. We'll not get that puck away from Jack. Now Muggser will also not get the puck away from Jack. Jack will take it back here behind the Cowtown net. Skated out in front. Blue line. Takes that shot wide of the net. Ghoul. Control the puck here. Keeping it away from Panther. Just skating it around. Looking for a pass up. Maybe Panther right on him. Panther will steal the puck away. And will hand it back to Jack. Jack bounces that one off the boards. Ghetto Starfish pressure. Doesn't work out. Jack shot off the post. And Muggs does a good job stopping Lemon Bond from hitting it off that rebound. Jack shot wide of the net again. Summon Bond looking for the pass back out to Jack. Jack will take control of the puck. Skate it in. Try to get that pass out in front of the net. Muggs sends it away. But time is winding down here for Cowtown. They need to get some offensive chances going. As I say that, Muggsard almost steals it in front of the Toronto net. But not quite as Panther now skates this one in. Takes that shot. Good stop by Ghetto. Muggsard one-on-one -on -one against Jack. Jack will win it. Jack now. We'll lose that puck as it finds its way back to Ghoul. Ghoul shot bounces off of Jack's head and into the Toronto net. Ghoul will get the first town, first goal for Cowtown in the series. And brings them within one with under two minutes left. Can they tie it up? Muggs looking for a shot here. We'll lose that puck to Jack. Jack going for the long shot wide of the net, but Panther will get this puck. Panther from the boards. Trying to skate it out in front of the Cowtown net. Gets stopped by Muggsard. Keeps control of it though. Looks for another chance. Can't find that pass to Lemon Bond. Jack, pass Muggsard. Pass to Lemon Bond again. Not quite connecting. Lemon Bond puts it back in Panther's stick. Behind the net, Panther hits the wraparound. And makes it a two-goal game once again for Toronto as all three guppies can't stop him. He finds the goal regardless. And with a minute 30 left, the guppies are back down by two once again. Jack. The puck here going for the launch shot. Make it down by three on the launch shot here from Jack. From one blue line all the way into the Cowtown net, making it four to one. Cool. We'll lose that puck to Jack. Jack looking for that shot stopped by Ghetto. Lemon Bond shot wide of the net. Now Jack trying to put it out in front of the net. Ghetto stops it, but Panther will still get control of this puck. Skate it in, look for a shot, get stopped by Ghoul. Minute left here. Cowtown needs three goals to tie it up. It's going to be difficult. Jack from in the corner. Pass up to Panther. Intercepted by Ghetto, but the shot is wide of the net. Jack again trying to find Panther on that pass. Panther can't get control of the puck. Will eventually get control of it here at center ice. Skate this one into the Cowtown zone. Looking for a pass out to a teammate here. The puck will find its way to Jack. He'll just skate it back here. Gets set up for Toronto. Panther will knock his own teammate off the puck. Muggs has a chance, but Jack sends it away. And that is what will probably do it for Cowtown here. With less than 30 seconds left, they're down by three. Jack is just skating the puck around. Going literally in circles across the ice. Muggsard again can't quite find the goal. One last shot will connect for Muggs. We'll make it a 4-2 to two game, but it's a bit too little too late. As the Penguins will take game number two here and will take the series 2-0 over the Cowtown Guppies. And will earn a spot in Pro Division for SPL season number one. So congratulations to the Penguins. They have earned a pro spot here. As the Guppies gave it their all, but couldn't quite come away with it. So once again, the final score for that series 2-0, a Toronto Penguins victory. Oops, hold on. Midget didn't work properly. There we go. All right. Well, once again, final score for that series, 2-0, a Toronto Penguins victory over the Cowtown Guppies as they earn our first pro spot of the night. However, there's still four pro spots left to be earned. But this next match won't decide one of those spots as this is going to be the Salt Lake Stampede going up against the Brooklyn Bandits. This match will decide who faces the Boston Baked Beans at 10. And that match will decide a pro spot. So...
We don't have too much time before that one starts, just about five minutes, so I'll go on a very short break and catch you guys back here for the start of that one. All right, welcome back, everybody. As coming up next, we have the Salt Lake City Stampede going up against the Brooklyn Bandits. So let's go take a look at their lineups. For the Salt Lake City Stampede, they have Hawk, Noxu, Resp, and Sapster. As for the Brooklyn Bandits, they have Dave, Derek, Kyler, and M-Dub. This is actually a round two matchup that was unable to be finished last night and will instead be being played tonight, as the winner of this one will be moving on later tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to face off against the Boston Baked Beans for that pro spot. So it'll be interesting to see who can come away with this one here. Both of these teams have pro division aspirations for sure. I would say that both these teams, you know, especially the Brooklyn Bandits are a team that are projected to be a pro team. Stampede are a team that are kind of right on the edge could easily either be a pro team or a very high level intermediate team so it'll be interesting to see who can come away with this one Just wait for everybody to get ready here. Twonk99, thank you for the Prime sub. Very much appreciate it. Great name. Alright, everybody is ready. Looks like we will be getting this one started once OBS actually lets me switch it over. There we go. All right. Game number one underway here of our best of three series. Stampede in red. Brooklyn Bandits in blue. As Derek fighting with Noxu on the boards. Noxu getting that puck over to Resp. Resp looking for a shot. Loses control of that puck. And Kyler will take control here for the Bandits. Trying to get that pass with them. M-Dub doesn't quite connect. Noxu dumps that puck away. Back behind the Bandits net now. Kyler just kind of standing still. Hopefully it's not lag issues as Derek. I'm going to try to dump that puck down ice. Noxu stops it. Noxu hands it back to Resp. Resp shot. Blocked. Kyler also blocks Sapster on the shot there. Gets it up here for Brooklyn. Dumping that one back behind the Stampede net. Resp. Up to Noxu. Over to Resp. Who's looking for a shot blocked by M-Dub. Sapster comes up to try to take that shot. It also gets stopped there. As Kyler now scanning it up. Looking. Passing that one back to Derek. Derek. Looking for the wraparound here. Blocked by Resp. Resp looking for a shot. Just dumping that puck away here. Cubs went to OT with the Bandits. Yeah, and the Typhoons took a game off the Bandits. <laughs> As Noxu looking for a shot here. Gets blocked by M-Dub. M-Dub trying to get back to that puck. Can't quite do it. As Resp looking for a chance. Kyler stops it. Kyler skating it up. Taking that shot. Long shot there from center ice by Kyler. Putting that one on the board for the Bandits. Making it a one to nothing game as I think. I guess Kyler's cursor is on the screen as Derek off the face off. Nice little move there. Getting it off of Resp and in. Making it a two to nothing lead here for the Brooklyn Bandits. Now Noxu trying to get that pass over to Sapster. Sapster can't get control of that puck. Resp also can't get control of it as Derek skinned it in. Looking for a pass out in front. M-Dub gets to the puck but can't get that one on net. Resp will send it around boards and will find Sapster. No, Derek will actually take control of that puck. Shot wide. Kyler skates it back. Skates it back up. Looking for a shot off the side of the net. Noxu now. Let's gain this puck around. Pass over to Resp. Resp looking. Pass over to Sapster. Sapster. Back out to Noxu. Noxu skates it in. Back over to Resp. Resp. Center ice takes that shot past Kyler. And Sapster will put that one into the Brooklyn net. Finishing the job there on the near miss from Resp. And makes it a 2-1 game. Brings that lead back down to 1. 
as the Stampede looked to tie it up. Kyler off the face off, looking for a goal here. Good save by Sapster. Sapster will take control of the puck here for the Stampede. Back behind that Salt Lake City net. Looking for a pass up. We'll just dump that puck all the way up to Kyler. Kyler now looking for an opportunity. Skating this puck around. Now has it back behind the Brooklyn net. I think he's lagging out a bit or something. Yep, he is gone. Kyler is gone. That's not great. He's coming back, I think. I think Kyler's internet just uh, crapped out. All right, looks like Kyler is back. Good show of sportsman. Th good show of sportsmanship there for the stam from the Stampede. Waiting for Kyler to find his way back here as we have under two minutes left now. Stampede still down by one. Kyler almost finding that shot sent away by Resp. Now Derek will take control of the puck here for the Bandits. No, actually will not take control of it. Noxu. Skating that puck around. We'll find the pass up to Sapster. Sapster can't get it on net. Kyler again. Skates it up. Finds him. M-Dub. M-Dub shot just wide of the net. Going for the wraparound. Stopped by Noxu. Bandits maintain control here though. M-Dub from behind the net. Loses it to Resp. Resp trying to send that puck down. Ice. M-Dub stops him. Goes for the wraparound. It goes sent out front to Derek who puts that one in to the Salt Lake City net. And that will make it a 3-1 lead here for the Brooklyn Bandits with a minute 26 left on the clock. The Stampede now need two more goals to tie this one up. Kyler, pass all the way down to Derek. Derek back over to Kyler. Who look in here, will lose that puck to Noxu. Noxu will lose it to M-Dub. M-Dub shot, blocked by Resp. M-Dub back behind the Stampede net. Him and the rest will battle here. M-Dub will come away with it. Keep it away from Noxu here as well, who will eventually actually get that one away from M-Dub. Skate it up. Look for a shot. Can't quite find one. Sapster out to Resp. Resp looking for an opportunity. Puts that one in with just under a minute left here in game number one. Resp has brought that lead back down to one. Once again, 3-2 to two our score. 55 seconds on the clock. Can the Stampede tie it up? Derek looking for an opportunity. Noxu keeps him away from the puck. Resp. Trying to get that pass on to Sapster. Sapster will get that puck. Looking. Can't get it past Kyler. Kyler skates this one up. Trying to get that pass to M-Dub. Resp. Good stop at the net. Resp trying to get that one up. Boards can't quite do it. Derek will take control of it. Will battle with Noxu. We'll send it around boards and find M-Dub. M-Dub back behind the Stampede's net. We'll send it out to Kyler. Kyler skates it to center ice. Under 25 seconds left. Kyler skating it around. Gets it past Noxu. Gets that one up to Derek. Derek from the corner. Looking for an opportunity. We'll get this one over to M-Dub. M-Dub back over to Derek. 15 seconds left. Bandits maintain control. Sapster good stop. Resp skating that one up. Gets it to Noxu. Noxu looking for that shot just wide. Resp from in the corner. Looking for a pass out. Can't find one. That puck will go around the boards. The Bandits will rag it. And that will end game number one. Three to two our score. The Brooklyn Bandits take it. In a close game there in game number one. And that's the wrong team. Hold on. Ignore the scoreboard. Ignore the scoreboard. Wrong team. <laughs> there we go. Now it's right. All right, everybody is ready here for game number two. Oh, completely forgot to update the title. Good point. Anyways, game number two underway here. Nothing, nothing. Our score, obviously, the game just started. One to nothing, our series score, as the Bandits took game number one, three to two, over the Salt Lake City Stampede, as Derek trying to find that pass out in front of the net, gets stopped by Resp. However, now Derek trying to go for the wraparound, can't quite find it. Knocks you. Skating this one up here, looking for a shot. Good pass over to Sapster. Sapster can't get that shot on net. Kyler stops him. M-Dub in the corner, battling with Noxu. Noxu gets that pass over to Sapster. Sapster one-on-one -on -one against Kyler, passes it back to Resp. Up to Sapster, shot off the side of the net. Kyler looking, pass up to Derek. Connects Derek's shot wide of the net. Noxu. 
Pass up to Sapster. Does not find the mark. As now Derek trying to get that pass past Noxu. Can't do it. Noxu. Pass over to Sapster. Doesn't connect. Noxu gets the puck back, though. Shot wide. Kyler. Keeping this puck away from Noxu here. Skating it around. Gets that pass up to M-Dub. M-Dub will not get full control of it. Will eventually send that puck around the boards. They'll find Derek. Derek will lose it. Get it back. Get this one over to M-Dub. M-Dub looking from in the corner. Will battle with Sapster. Sapster will get it away. Try to send that puck down. Ice. Derek stops it. That shot right off the post. As now Noxu trying to get the pass over to Sapster. Doesn't connect. Kyler, battling of Sapster. Saps or Kyler will come away with that puck. Skate this one around. Get that one down to M Dub in the corner. M Dub looking for a pass back out. We'll just hand it off to Kyler. Kyler will get set up here once again for Brooklyn. Pass it up to Derek. Derek from behind the net. Battling of Sapster. Sapster will come away with that puck here for the stampede. Looking for a pass down ice. We'll send it around boards to Rest. Rest going for the long shot. Kyler right there. Kyler. Trying to send that one up. Noxu takes control of it. Noxu over to Sapster. Sapster out to Ref. Back to Nox or back to uh, Sapster. Who can't find anything with it. And Derek has an open net, but off the post. And we remain scoreless. Halfway through game number two here. Nobody has scored yet. Bandits lead the series one to nothing after a game one victory as Kyler skates this one up, battling with Sapster. Sapster will come away or not will will not come away with that puck. Kyler keeps it away from him. Kyler sitting up here for the bandits. Skates it out in front. Looking for a pass. We'll find Derek. Derek trying to get that one out in front of the net. Goes right off the side of the net. Rest trying to dump that one down. Stop by Derek. Sapster trying to intercept that pass. Can't quite do it. Kyler one on one. Rest good stop. Under two minutes left now. Resp, good pass up to Sapster. Sapster can't get that shot off. M-Dub, good defense. Kyler loses it out in front of the net. But Noxu overskated it. Noxu had a perfect chance, but just did not get control of that puck in front of the net. And we remain scoreless. M-Dub in the corner. Looking, skates down front. Can't find that shot. Derek, bumped off the puck by Noxu. Gets back to it. Pass it out to Kyler. Kyler, center ice, looking for a shot. Takes it and hits it. Finding that top corner on a beautiful shot here. Skating that one in. Puts it past Resp and in. And the Bandits take a 1-0 lead with 1.30 left on the board. Can they maintain it? Resp. Pass on the Noxu. Noxu will get control of this puck. Look. And dump it into the Bandits zone. Kyler gets it away from Sapster. Skates it around. Noxu will try to bump Kyler off the puck. Can't quite do it. Kyler trying to get the pass out to M-Dub. M-Dub will get to that puck and will put it in to the Salt Lake City net. And just like that, the Bandits take a 2 to nothing lead here over the Salt Lake City Stampede with a minute 15 left on the board. And Salt Lake find a way to come back here. They don't have much time and they need two goals. Sapser loses control of that puck. They might need three here if Kyler can find this one. Can't get M-Dub on that pass. Under a minute left now. M-Dub. Noxu back behind the Stampede's net. Noxu will get away, get control of that puck. Try and get it away from M-Dub here. Can't quite do it. Gets the puck back. Trying to set up here for the Stampede. Good pass up to Sapser. Sapser can't maintain control of it though. Kyler will send it up boards to M-Dub. M-Dub will not get control of it right away. Giving Noxu time to set up on defense there, but time is running out for Salt Lake here. They need to get some goals fast. Kyler would control the puck. Under 30 seconds left, finds that pass up to Derek. Derek, out to Kyler. Kyler with Resp and Sapster on him. Will lose that puck to Sapster. Sapster will lose it back to Kyler, though, who will just skate it back to the Brooklyn zone. Bandits... For surely, just trying to waste some time here as Noxer trying to send it around boards to Sapser. Derek stops it. Shot wide of the net. But with the amount of time wasted on the clock there, I don't think it matters as it looks like the Bandits will take game number two and will take the series 2-0 in both respects. As they will be moving on to face the Boston Baked Beans later tonight to decide who will claim a pro spot from this part of the bracket. So congratulations to the Brooklyn Bandits. They keep their hopes of earning a pro spot in our second qualification tournament alive. 
as they take a 2-0 victory over the Salt Lake City Stampede. As coming up next, we will have the West Virginia Orangutans going up against the Quebec Baguettes. This match will be for a pro spot. Just hold on, I'm just getting stuff set up on the graphics side of things. There we go. All right. Well, this next match will be for a pro spot, as we have the West Virginia Orangutans going up against the Quebec Baguettes. We have a good amount of time before this one is set to begin. About 15-ish minutes. So, as usual, I'm going to go on break, play the music, play the ads. As we wait to begin our next matchup, don't go anywhere. We'll be back in a bit. All right, welcome everybody. As we are getting set to begin our third match of the night and we have another pro qualification match on deck here as we have the West Virginia Orangutans going up against the Quebec Baguettes. There are your predictions. Let's take a look at their lineups. For West Virginia, they have Cameron, Falapa, Fish, Night Sector, and X Hoodler. As for the Quebec Baguettes, they have Galsy, Ocelot, Renard, and Scods. Should be a pretty interesting matchup here. Neither of these teams had a chance at pro last tournament. Baguettes unfortunately had to forfeit due to not being able to field a full team of three. The West Virginia Orangutans got knocked out of the tournament before the qualification matches began. So, here we are. Both teams getting their first chance at Pro Division here tonight. Can either make it? Wait on either team to ready, or just wait on both teams to ready up here, and then we'll get this one going. Both teams are ready, so let's get this one started. Alright, West Virginia in red, Quebec in blue, here we go. As Knight Sector losing control of that puck, Ocelot will try to take control of it here for the bag. Gets, we'll get that pass up to Scott. Scott's battling with Cameron, Scott's shot wide of the net. Scott's now. Looking, we'll try to hand that one off to Galsy and said Cameron will take control of it. Send that shot way wide, and we are fully underway here. In game number one of this best of three series, of course, whoever wins this will get a pro division spot in season number one as the Quebec Bag gets take an early lead here. Off the goal from Galsy and a nice shot there off the pass from Ocelot. One to nothing. The Bag gets lead just 30 seconds into game number one. As Galsy now, he's getting out in front of his own net. We'll lose that one to Falapa Fish, who cannot get it to Cameron. Night Sector will get control of that puck. Take that shot stopped by Ocelot. Ocelot, battling with Night Sector. We'll get control of it. We'll look. Can't get that shot on net. Cameron, losing that one to Galsy. He'll get it out to Ocelot, who at the blue line sends a rocket in to the West Virginia net. Making it. Two to nothing. My brain just died. I, I didn't remember the score. Cameron now off the face off as oh my god, I'm getting I'm I'm getting drop frames again. I want to bash my head against the wall. Anyways, Night Sector looking. Getting that one back to Cameron. Cameron taking that shot. Galsy stops it. Galsy trying to get the pass to Scott's. Cameron intercepts it. Pass to Night Sector. Night Sector can't get control of the puck. 
Hustle off looking. We'll lose that one to Falapa Fish. Pass it back around boards to Cameron. Cameron. Galsy right on him. One on one here. Cameron trying to find a pass up. Galsy stops it. Galsy. Looking for a chance out in front of the net. Gets that one too. Or doesn't even have to pass it to Osloff. That one just goes right all the way into the West Virginia net. And that will be a 3 to nothing lead now for the Quebec Baguettes. Now Knight Sector gets control of that puck. Looking. We'll lose it to Osloff on the boards. Osloff. Finally with Falapa Fish. That puck finding its way back to Knight Sector. Skating it around here. Looking. Gets it out in front. Lose it to Scods. Scods. Skates this one in. Looks for a shot. Instead it actually will be a pass to Osloff who has an open net. But sent it wide. Now Falapa Fish looking just wide on the shot there. Now Knight Sector in the corner. Battling with Osloff. Osloff will take control of that puck. Skate it up. We'll lose it to Cameron. Now Scods will battle for the baguettes here. Can't, or gets a shot off there. Can't get it past Falapa Fish. Fish looking. We'll try to get that pass down ice. Osloff stops it. Now Osloff looking. We'll lose that one. Scods will take control of it. Skate it back. Skate it around here. Skate it back up. Take that shot. Goes off of Cameron's stick and into the baguettes net. Making it four to nothing. Over the West Virginia orangutans here. As we are past the halfway point in game number one. Quebec is dominating at the moment. As Fish sends that shot just wide of the net. Is now Fish again. Looking. As I was reading chat there. So I think I missed actually a pretty good save by the baguettes. Scods gets control of that puck in the West Virginia zone. Gets it out to Osloth, who misses on the shot. As again, I, I'll, I, I won't talk about it anymore, but my drop frames are going back up. It's not bad right now, but... Kidding. I, I focus on it too much. I'll focus on the game. Cameron, looking. Try to pass that one down. Ice gets stopped by Osloth. Ballsy. We'll take control of it, get it up to Scods. Scods just sends that puck away. Scods now. Skates that one in. Tries to get that pass to Osloff. Osloff got a stick on it. Can't find a shot, though. Now Osloff again. Center ice takes that shot. Fish sends it away. Good save. Osloff takes control of the puck here for the baguettes. Scan it around. Fish up to pressure. Osloff trying to get that pass up ice. Fish stops it. Fish. And the blue line will lose it to Galsy. Shot way wide. Galsy will lose control of that puck here as Cameron will take control of it here for the orangutans. Take the long shot. Scott stops it. Under a minute left here. Baguettes up by four. A comeback is going to be very difficult for the orangutans here. As Cameron trying to set up for them. Good pass up to Knight Sector. Knight Sector just wide of the net. And I think that basically confirms that this comeback will not happen. As Cameron shot stopped by Galsy. Galsy will get it to Osloff. We'll put that one in to the open orangutan net. Making it 5 to nothing here. The bag gets dominate game number one. Look to be well on their way to a victory here in game number one. We just have to wait for the clock to run out. It's Cameron with the puck here. Maybe West Virginia can get one goal at least. Can't quite find anything. Knight Sector shot blocked by Ocelot, who tries to just dump it away. Can't get it out of the Quebec zone here. Does now. You actually get it out of the Quebec zone up to Scods. Nobody can take control of that puck. And that will end game number one here. Five to nothing or a score. Quebec looking very good here so far, taking game one in this best of three series. Waiting on ready ups here. And we will get this one going. Thank you, M Dub. <laughs> All right.
everybody is ready for game number two here. Quebec took a dominant win in game number one, five to nothing over the West Virginia Orangutans. However, we've seen Quebec take dominant game one victories before and then co go on to lose the series. So, do not count West Virginia out just yet. It's Cameron on the boards, battling of Ocelov. Ocelov pass it back to Scott. Scott's over to Galsy. Galsy center ice, taking that shot, blocked by Night Sector. Ocelov on the boards, back to Scott's. Scott skates it in, looks for a shot, can't quite find one. Cameron sending that one down, ice, and Galsy will get a bit of a stick on it there, and will send it around boards to Ocelov. Ocelov takes that shot from center ice off the boards, puts it in to the West Virginia net. And just like that, the Baguettes once again have the lead, one to nothing over West Virginia. Little over 30 seconds into game number two. As Galsy pass to Ossoff, does not connect. Ossoff on the boards here, skates it back, skates it up. Knight Sector will not get control of it. Ossoff skating it around. Center ice now taking that shot, gets tipped and wide. Balapa Fish trying to get that one away from Galsy, who will dump it back into his own zone here. And Scott's, that pass to Dossloff, stolen away by Cameron. Cameron, center ice, can't find anything. Galsy just dumps that puck away. Falapa Fish will set up here for the Orangutans with Galsy pressuring. Fish gets that pass up to Night Sector. Night Sector can't get it past Ozloff. We'll hand this one back to Fish. We'll try to get set up again, try to get that pass to Cameron. This time, Galsy intercepts it. Scott's, pass down to Ozloff. Fish gonna fight for it. And Fish will come away with that puck, actually. It's center ice now, keeping it away from Galsy. Looking. Pass up to Knight Sector. Does not quite connect. Scods will take control here for the Baguettes. Get that one to Ossoff. Ossoff will take that shot. Wide of the net. Cameron will set up here for West Virginia. Back behind the West Virginia net. Try to get that pass to Fish. Doesn't connect. Scods now. Skates it around. Looks. Gets that one up to Galsy. Galsy can't get that shot on net. Now Ossoff will lose control of it here to Cameron. Cameron dumps it down right to Scott. Scott's over to Galsy. Galsy will battle. We'll get control of it, but we'll lose it to Cameron. Cameron takes that shot over Scott's stick and in. West Virginia finally finds themselves on the board here in the series as they tied up in game number two, one to one, with exactly three minutes left. As Galsy battling of Cameron here, Cameron will come away with the puck. Skate it back. Look for a chance here for the Orangutans. Galsy right there. Cameron will try to get the pass to the Night Sector. It doesn't connect. Scods will take control of this puck. Skate it up. Take that shot. Fish. Good stop. Fish will pass it back. Leave Cameron to take control of it here for the Orangutans. Everybody spacing out. Cameron trying to find a pass. We'll try to get that one up to Fish. It actually will get to him. The pass up to Night Sector though. Stopped by Scods. Scods trying to get that one to Galsy. Cameron. Good D. As Knight Sector trying to get this one out of the Orangutan zone here and will. Scods will get that pass over to Galsy. Galsy over to Ocelov who almost tips that one into the West Virginia net. Not quite. Scods chance out in front of the net. Stopped by Cameron. Second chance though off that bounce. He puts that one into the West Virginia net. Making it a 2-1 to -one game now for the Quebec Baguettes on the nice shot there. As they retake their lead. Now Galsy off the faceoff, trying to just walk that one in. Shot just wide. Ocelov, blue line, skates that one up, takes that shot. Knight Sector, good stop. Knight Sector now. We'll lose that puck to Ocelov. Ocelov looking for a shot, can't find one. Under two minutes left here. Bag gets up by one. If they win this game, they get a pro division spot for SPL season number one. Knight Sector keeping it away from Ocelov. Ocelov battling of Scods. Or, sorry, Knight Sector battling of Scods. Losing control of that puck. Out to Ossoff at center ice. Shot blocked by Fish. And Fish also stops Scods on the rebound. It's a good job there. It's now Falapa Fish trying to get that one down. Ice goes right to Scods. Scods battling with Cameron. One on one. Scods will hand it off to Ossoff. Ossoff skates it in. Looks. Gets blocked by Falapa Fish. Fish. Pass over to Night Sector. Night Sector skates it up. We'll get control over here. We'll send it around boards to Cameron. Cameron. Trying to set up here for the Orangutans. They're down by one. Approaching a minute left here. Maybe going for the wraparound. Galsy right there to stop him though. Cameron maintains control of this puck. We'll skate this one out. And we'll hand it back to Fish. Fish setting up for the Orangutans. Trying to get that one down to Night Sector. Galsy gets in the way. Galsy will not maintain control of that puck on the boards. But Fish will also not maintain control of it. As Ossoff dumps that one down. Scott's back behind the West Virginia net. Can't make 
can't get quick control of that one. Fish, launch shot, easily stopped. Knight Sector now, looking for a pass out the Fish, shot way wide of the net. As now Knight Sector in the corner again, we're approaching 30 seconds left. Can the Orangutans find a way to tie this one up? Or will the Baguettes take that pro spot? Osloff getting that one to Scott. Scott's keeping it in the Quebec zone here, trying to set up. Just dumps it away, 20 seconds left. Falapa Fish will take it here from West Virginia. Probably their last chance. Falapa Fish skating it up ice. Trying to get past Scots. Can't do it. Osloff takes control of this puck. Fish trying to fight for it back. Fish gets it back. Trying to get it past Osloff. Or is trying to get it past Scots. Couldn't. This puck getting stuck back behind the Orangutan's net. And that will do it. 2-1 to one, our final score. The Quebec Baguettes take game number 2. And take the series 2-0 over. The West Virginia Orangutans as the Quebec Baguettes have officially qualified for Pro Division in SPL season number one. Let's update this here as coming up next it will be the Boston Baked Beans going up against the Brooklyn Bandits. But once again, our final score of that last series, 2-0, a 2-0 victory for the Quebec Baguettes. As they take the win over the West Virginia Orangutans and like I said, earn a pro qualification spot for SPL Rebound Season number 1. But like I said, coming up next, we have the Boston Baked Beans going up against the Brooklyn Bandits. That match will start in about 15 minutes, so like normal. Be going on break, playing ads, playing music. You know how it be. And we'll catch you guys back here for the start of that next pro qualification match. Don't go anywhere. All right, welcome back, everybody. We've got two matches left tonight as we still have two more pro spots to decide here. As coming up next, we have the Boston Baked Beans going up against the Brooklyn Bandits. Let's take a look at their lineups. For the Boston Baked Beans, they have Artigan, Larry Moo, Poop Sock, and Niwo 1414. As for the Brooklyn Bandits, they have Dave, Derek, Kyler, and M Dub. Obviously, the Bandits coming off that win, a 2 0 series victory over the uh, Salt Lake City Stampede earlier tonight. As for the Boston Baked Beans, no offense to them, but I kind of see them as the same way I kind of saw the uh, Canada Camels last tournament. Kind of the odd team out, out of the uh, eight teams that are fighting for pro division spots tonight. However, I'm always ready for the Beans to prove me wrong. As we wait for them to uh, stay in the lobby, they were in and now they are gone. All right, they're back. I guess maybe they were just changing their names or something. Wait for everybody to get ready here once again. This is a pro qualification match. Whoever wins this earns a pro division spot for season number one. Scods with the waste of points, appreciated. All right, everybody's back in the lobby. <laughs> I will let him know. Just waiting on both teams to be ready here, and then we will go. All right. Like both teams are ready. So let's get this one started. So we have the game to actually uh, launch now. Oh, it's top of the hour. This isn't going to launch. 
Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. It's just kind of stuck here at the moment. Oh, it launched! It did! I wasn't expecting it. Alright. I clicked the wrong screen in OBS. Let's go! Okay, game number one underway here. Boston Baked Beans in red. Brooklyn Bandits in blue. Here we go as Kyler. Getting that pass up to M-Dub. M-Dub looking for that shot wider than that. Nemo now. Can't get control of that puck as Artigan. Dumping it back behind the Bandits net here. Kyler skating this one up. Trying to play around a bit with Artigan here. Bouncing that puck off the boards. Skating this one in. Looking for a shot. Larry Moo stops him. Now Kyler taking that shot wider than that. That puck getting dumped back behind the Bandits net as Kyler looking. Nemo right there. Kyler will send it around boards. Larry Moo though. Good interception. Takes that shot just wider than that. Nemo losing that puck to M-Dub. M-Dub skating it away from him. That puck back. Nemo will get control of it. Try to put it towards net. Derek stops it. Derek two on one. Artigan right there. Derek shot blocked by Artigan again. Kyler blocked by Nemo. And Artigan sends that puck away. M-Dub skates it back though. Shot wide of the net. Larry Moo dumps that puck away here. Good defense from Boston there. Keeping this one scoreless, at least for now, as Derek. Good pass up to Kyler. Kyler gets that one to M-Dub. M-Dub in the corner. Can we get that one out in front of the net? Nemo stops it. Nemo, with both Derek and M-Dub pressuring, just opts to dump that puck away. Kyler will set up here for the Bandits. Artigan pressuring. Kyler keeps it away from him. Gets a good pass over to M-Dub. M-Dub skates out in front of the net and puts that shot past Larry Moo and in. As M-Dub will make it a one to nothing lead here for the Brooklyn Bandits in game number one. Off the nice shot. Now M-Dub. And that one towards the net there. Artigan stops it. Artigan trying to get it past Derek. Derek steals it away. Takes that shot, but it goes off the post. Derek had an open net there. Now takes another shot off the post. He's got a magnet as Larry Moo dumps it away. Derek now back behind the band. It's dead. Loses it out in front of the net, but Larry Moo can't get that one quite on net. Goes just off to the side. Larry Moo, good job stopping that pass to M-Dub. Now Nemo going to battle for it here at center ice. Derek will lose control of that one. But it'll go right to Kyler. Kyler get it, gets it away from Nemo. Gets it up to Derek. Derek taking that shot just wider than that. M-Dub in the corner. Going for the wraparound here maybe. Nemo fighting will come away with that puck. Larry Moo will take control of it here. Skate it around. Skate this one up to center ice. Take that shot. Stop by Derek. We are past the halfway point here in game number one. Bandits hold a 1-0 lead. Nemo takes control of the puck here for the Beans. Can't find that pass to Larry Moo. Kyler again skates it up. Center ice get, sends that one right to Nemo. But Kyler stops the shot. Nemo gets it away from him. Try to get that one to Larry Moo. Doesn't connect. Artigan. That only if Derek will lose control of that puck to Derek who skates it around here. Looks for a chance. Is it back to Nemo? Larry Moo trying to dump that one out of the bean zone here. Can't do it. Kyler will take control here for the Bandits. Scan it around. Back behind the Bandits net. Kyler will send this one around. Boards to M-Dub. No, Nemo intercepts it. Nemo takes that shot and hits it. What a shot from Nemo here. Let's take a look at it again. Intercepting that pass. Sniping it into the net and making it a one-to-one -one game. As Boston have tied it up here. With about a minute 40 left in game number one. M-Dub that pass. Intercepted by Nemo again. Great pass to Larry Moo who redirects it in to the Brooklyn net. And just like that, Boston takes the lead 2-1. to one Over the Brooklyn Bandits. As Kyler off the faceoff here looking for a shot. Can't find one. Kyler skates it back. Larry Moo coming up to pressure. Larry Moo can't get to it. That pass finds its way to M-Dub. M-Dub looking for the wraparound. Can't maintain control of that puck. Derek will get it. Try to get that pass off Kyler. Larry Moose stops it and dumps the puck away. Kyler skates this one in again. Pass over to Derek. Derek looking. Trying to get that pass to M-Dub. Larry Moose stops it. Kyler again fighting. Derek will get control of this puck. Look for a shot. M-Dub will not get control of it. Larry Moose takes that shot. Cross ice. Stopped by Derek. Kyler has a chance in front of the net. Can't find a shot. Under a minute left. Bandit still down by one. Kyler skates it out. Center ice gets it to the blue line, skates it in front of the net. Can't find a shot on net there, though. As Larry moves past that one around, boards to Artigan. Artigan 
on boards. We'll lose it to Derek. Larry Moo will not get control of that puck. M-Dub gets out in front to Kyler. Kyler, 40 seconds left. Skates it in. Shot blocked by Larry Moo. Dumped away. The beans are coming out in chat as Derek sends it around. Boards to Kyler. Kyler, lose it to Larry Moo. Larry Moo, fouling of Kyler. To them battling on the boards here. Larry Moo will take control of this puck. 25 seconds left. Boston still up by a one. Kyler sends it around boards. Finds Derek. Derek shot stopped by Niwo. Niwo leaves that puck behind, but m -Dub can't get to it. Kyler loses control of that one. 10 seconds left. Can Boston hold on? Kyler loses control of that puck to Niwo, who's going to rag it against the boards. And that will waste enough time. Maybe not. Kyler, one last chance. Stopped by Artigan. And game number one goes to the Boston Baked Beans 2-1 over the Brooklyn Bandits. What a game there for the Beans. Great defense all around. Can they keep up this momentum and take the series? All right, both teams are readied up, so let's get this one going. Game two set to begin here is off the faceoff. M-Dub will take control of this puck for the Bandits. Bandits taking the loss there in game number one. Two to one to the Boston Baked Beans. Can they pull off the upset as M-Dub shot sent away by Larry Moo? M-Dub will pass this one back to Kyler. Kyler skates it out in front of the net. Try to get that pass out to Derek. Larry Moo intercepts it. Larry Moo takes that shot. Kyler blocks it. Art again now. Try to get that one out in front of the net. Doesn't connect. Larry Moo. Try to get that one. Try to get that pass out to Art again. Also can't do it. Last game was 2-1. to one. A Boston Baked Beans victory as Larry Moo puts that one into the Brooklyn net. Off the pass here from Niwo, making it a one to nothing game. For the Boston Baked Beans early on here in game number two. Kyler now, skating this one around. Taking the long shot, stopped by Larry Moo. Larry Moo battling with Derek. Derek going for the wraparound. Can't hit it. Derek looking. Going for another wraparound here. Niwo, good stop. Now Artigan trying to dump that puck away. Good stop by Kyler. Kyler center ice. Battling with Niwo. Trying to get that pass up to Derek. Sent away by Larry Moo. M-Dub. Pass to Kyler. Kyler trying to redirect it towards the net. Can't get much power behind it. Derek steals that puck away. One on one. Good save by Larry Moo. Derek, good pass out to M-Dub though. M-Dub takes that shot wide of the net. That puck gets dumped away by Artigan here. Larry Moo going to battle of Kyler. Kyler. Larry Moo right on him. Kyler gets it past Larry Moo. Does not get it past Artigan though. We'll keep this one in the Brooklyn zone. Kyler and Artigan back behind the net. Artigan looking for a pass. Can't find one. Kyler will take control. Kyler with Nemo pressuring. Gets a good pass over to M-Dub. M-Dub two on one. Snipes that one into the Boston net. And ties it up here for Brooklyn. One to one on the nice shot there. Right over Larry Moo and in. And we are tied once again, one to one, our score. As M Dub will take control of the puck here for the Bandits and pass over to Kyler. Kyler gets that one up to Derek. Derek, with Larry Moo right on him, takes that shot just off the post. Larry Moo down, dumps it away. Kyler will take control here for the Bandits. Artigan right on him. Kyler gets it around him, gets that pass up to Derek. Derek puts it out in front of the net. Nemo almost own goals it, but not quite. Dumps that one right to Kyler. Kyler long shot wide of the net. Derek will send it around. Boards find Kyler again. Kyler skates it in. Shot wide again. Derek from the corner. Going for Kyler again. This time Niwo intercepts it. Tries to get that pass to Larry Moot. Doesn't connect. Derek gets it out to Kyler. Kyler going to get that one on net. Niwo going to try to fight for this one on the boards. Kyler skating it back here. Niwo pressuring. Kyler will send it up. Can't find Derek. It will go all the way to Artigan. Artigan. Valley of Derek. That puck will find its way to Kyler. Kyler from the blue line. Shot wide. We are past the halfway point here in game two. We are tied. Kyler that loses control of that puck. Artigan's going to battle. Can't get that one on net. Kyler dumps it away. Nemo sends it back. Kyler going to reset up here for the Bandits once again. Larry Moo pressuring. Kyler cannot get it past Larry Moo, but Larry Moo will pass it right to M-Dub for him. Now Artigan will take that one away from M-Dub, but Kyler will take it back. Larry Moo steals it from Kyler, but M-Dub steals it from him. Two of them going to battle in the corner now. Under two minutes left, we are still tied as M-Dub finds that pass over to Kyler. Kyler will skate it back, set it up here for Brooklyn. 
Skates in front of the Brooklyn net. Looks for the shot here. Takes it. Larry Moose stops the first attempt. And Dub can't find the rebound. Now Nemo going to battle of Kyler at center ice. Kyler wins it. Kyler now looking for that shot. Hits it from the side. Beautiful angle. And Kyler will give the Bandits the lead. 2-1 to one here over the Boston Baked Beans on the nice shot there. Minute 39 on the board. Can the Beans tie it back up? As Nemo can't get control of that puck. Derek tried to walk it in. Can't do it. Larry Moo stopped by Derek on the dump there. Larry Moo will get it back, though, and dump it back behind the Bandits' net. Kyler with control of the puck here. Larry Moo trying to pressure. Kyler keeps it away from him. Look at that pass up to Derek. Derek looking for that shot. Artigan's good save. Artigan now battling with Derek. Derek trying to get that one to M-Dub. Doesn't connect. Kyler down to M-Dub back behind the bandit or back behind the baked beans net. We'll get it out to Derek. Derek takes that shot. M-Dub can't finish the job. Nemo dumps the puck away. A minute left here for the baked beans to tie this one back up. They are down 2-1, to one, though they lead the series 1-0 right now. So if they lose this game, we still have game 3 to the side of the series. Kyler gets that pass to M-Dub. M-Dub back behind the Baked Beans net looking. We'll lose that one to Larry Moo. Larry Moo can't get the pass to Nemo. He'll go all the way down to Kyler. 40 seconds left. Kyler skates this one up looking. We'll pass it to M-Dub. M-Dub gets it back to Kyler who will get it to Derek who can't get that one on net. Kyler in the corner. Get that pass out to Derek. Derek, 30 seconds left. Gets it past Argan. Larry Moo trying to take control of the puck here on the boards. Derek will not maintain control of it. Control of it. Larry Moo will send it around. Can't find Nemo as M Dub intercepts it, but can't find the shot. Nemo now can't get control of that one. M Dub gets it back to Kyler. Kyler skates it in. Looks for a shot here. We'll pass it to M Dub. M Dub in the corner. 10 seconds left. Gets out to Kyler. Kyler, battle of Artigan. Artigan will not get that puck away. Kyler just going to rag this one against the boards as the Bandits will take game number two. Two to one. Over the Boston Baked Beans. Game three coming up next. Did not think this series would be as close as it is right now as we have one game left to decide it. Both teams are ready. Who will win game three and earn that next pro spot here tonight as Larry move off the faceoff, loses that puck to Derek. Gets it back here on the boards though. Skates it around, looking for a pass, loses that puck to M-Dub. M-Dub will pass it back to Kyler behind the Bandit's net as they get set up here as game number three is underway. Nemo intercepts that pass, takes that shot. Good save by Kyler. Larry Moo in a battle with Kyler here back behind the Bandit's net. Kyler will win the battle. Larry Moo coming up. Kyler, risky move in front of his own net. Works out. Nemo now shot blocked. M-Dub takes that shot. Nemo, good save. Can't send that puck away, though, as Kyler is right on him. To take that puck and put it into the Boston net as the Bandits take an early 1-0 lead here in Game 3. Derek looking for a shot here. Larry Moose sends it away and wide of the net. That one gets sent around boards here. Kyler will not maintain control of it. Will actually get control of it back here though, but send that one right to Larry Moose. Larry Moose 2-on-1, shot wide of the net. Kyler. Skating this one up here for the Bandits. Gets a good pass to Derek. Derek from in the corner. Gets it out in front. Can't find a pass nor a shot there. As that puck gets dumped away. Derek keeping it away from Larry Moo. Try to get that one to Kyler. Artigan steals it. Artigan out in front of the net. Nobody home there for Boston though. Could have been a beautiful chance. Nobody far enough up. M-Dub gets that pass from Kyler. Gets it over to Derek. Derek blue line skates it in. Trying to get that one back to Kyler. Stopped by Larry Moo. End up in the corner. Hands this one off to Kyler. Kyler center ice skates it back. Artigan going to come up in pressure here. Kyler, good pass up to Derek. Derek trying to get it back out to Kyler. Artigan right there. Kyler gets it back though. Skating up. Takes that shot. Larry Moo, good save. Kyler, another chance. Can't get a shot off. M-Dub keeps his chance alive for the Bandits though. As I say that, he loses that puck to Larry Moo who dumps it away. Derek, battling of Artigan. On the boards here, that puck gets sent back into the Boston zone. Niwo will take control here, control here for... Baked Beans, get that puck over to Larry Moo. Larry Moo skating it up, shot blocked by Kyler. Kyler battling with Larry Moo here at center ice. Larry Moo comes away with that puck. Kyler gets it back. Under three minutes left. Bandits up by one. Kyler, good pass up to Derek. Can't find the angle. M-Dub back behind the net. 
Can't do much with it. That puck gets dumped away by Larry. Kyler. Artigan right there. Keeps the puck away from him. Gets that pass up to M-Dub. M-Dub shot wide. Derek from the board. Skates that one in. Larry Moo, good stop. That one gets sent out to Kyler. Shot wide. Derek. Trying to get control of that puck again. Artigan sends it away. Kyler. Artigan right there on him. Try to get that pass up to Derek. Intercepted by Nemo. Nemo skates it in. Takes that shot. M-Dub, good stop. Past the halfway point here as Kyler takes control of this puck. Artigan can't steal that pass. Derek, though, can't find that shot on net. Derek skates it out in front. Will lose control of it. Larry Moo. Skating it around. Trying to keep it away from Derek here. Can't do it. Nemo sends it around. Boards will find Artigan. Artigan will lose the puck to Derek. Artigan will get it back, though. Look for a shot. Gets blocked by Kyler. Kyler skates it around. Takes that shot. Blocked by Artigan. Kyler again. Trying to get that one back to M-Dub. M-Dub in the corner. Battling of Larry Moo. Larry Moo trying to get it out in front. Kyler takes control. Kyler skating this one around. Taking his time with it. Nemo trying to take control of this one here. Pressuring Kyler. Kyler will... Get around him. Skate this one up. Get a good pass up to Derek. Derek looking for a chance. Artigan, good save. Kyler now. Artigan saves again. Artigan just getting plenty of blocks there. Trying to push this one down ice. Can't find anything. Kyler. Pass all the way up to Derek. Derek can't find the pass out to M-Dub. Kyler bumped off that puck by Artigan. Takes that shot. Larry Moo stops it. Larry Moo. Shot wide of the bandit's net. M-Dub takes control here. Sends that one down. Finds Derek. Derek out to Kyler. Open net. They finally find the play they've been looking for all game long. Bandits make it a 2 to nothing lead now. With a minute 7 left on the clock. Can the Beans find a way to come back here in this one? M-Dub just skates this one back into the Brooklyn zone. Larry Moo trying to pressure. M-Dub will send it around boards to Kyler. Kyler's shot blocked by Nebo. Nemo trying to send that puck up ice. Derek stops it. Derek shot wide of the net. Larry Moo will take control. Larry Moo dumps it away. 45 seconds left. Still down by two. Can the Beans find some way to get a goal here? M-Dub shot wide of the net. Derek looking. Battling with Larry Moo. Larry Moo gets that puck away. Can't get that one up to Nemo. M-Dub looking. Going for the wraparound maybe. Can't find it. Try to get that one out to Kyler. Kyler will take control of it. Get it away from Nemo. Skate this one up. Taking his time with this one. Time winding down here. Kyler just skating it around. Looking. Takes that shot. Artigan stops it. Artigan trying to get that pass up to Nemo. Stolen away by Kyler. And it looks like game number three will be going to the Brooklyn Bandits here. As they just rag it against the boards. Nemo though getting that one out to Artigan. Three seconds left. The Baked Beans make it a 2-1 game. Because I guess every game in the series has to end 2-1. As Nemo puts that one in, maybe, just maybe. Off the faceoff, Kyler wins it, so no. The Brooklyn Bandits will take game number three and will take the series two to one over. The Boston Baked Beans, who get put up an amazing fight there against Brooklyn. But at the end of the day, it just was not meant to be. As once again, everything in that series was a... 2-1. to one. The series score every single game. Wild. Anyways, once again, the Brooklyn Bandits take that series 2-1 to one over the Boston Baked Beans and have earned a spot in the Pro Division for SPL Rebound Season number 1. So congratulations to them. And once again, shout-outs to the Boston Baked Beans for putting up a great fight there against the Bandits. But just couldn't quite pull off the upset. But we have one last match here tonight. As coming up next, we have the Ball Peen Hammers. Going up against the Bermuda Breakaway. As I think I have to fix the size on the graphic here. Oh, no, it fits. Okay. But we have the Pennsylvania Ball Peen Hammers going up against the Bermuda Breakaway to the side. Our last pro spot of the night. Who will come away with that one? That match starts in about 10 minutes. So as usual, going to go on a short break. And when I get back, we will start our last match of the night. So, don't go anywhere. One last pro spot to
Alright, welcome back everybody to the last match of the night as we decide our last Pro Division spot here for tournament, or coming from tournament number two. Let me try that sentence again. We are deciding our last Pro Division spot for SPL... Okay, now... Alright, turn it. Alright, sentence. One last time. I can get it right this time. I promise. Our last Pro Division spot of the night is up for grabs here in our next match. As we have the Pennsylvania Ball Peen Hammers going up against the Bermuda Breakaway. Who will get the last Pro, sp pro Division spot here in this tournament? Let's take a look at their lineups. My brain is just dying, apparently. As coming up for the Pennsylvania Ball Peen Hammers, they have Cherries B, HZR, Shalisa, and Yurtle. As for the Bermuda Breakaway, they have Brady B, Flaccid Lettuce, Spleen, and T. We wait for the Hammers to get into the lobby here. This should be a close matchup. Again, this will be the last match of the night as we are deciding our final pro division spot from this tournament so we will be up to eight pro division teams once this tournament is over there will still be two more spots up for grabs in the last qualification tournament for both these teams i'm sure they want to just win it right now get it out of the way should be a very close game here also i forgot to start the predictions so there you go Completely forgot to do him for the last match. Dude. Yeah, okay, I sent it up to you. Alright. So, just wait on the hammers to uh, actually show up. <laughs> then we'll get this one going. Looking at the predictions so far, it looks to be leaning towards the Bermuda Breakaway. Right as I say that, though, we get a big prediction for the Ball Peen Hammers. Looks like everybody's pretty even on these two teams. Can't really blame you. Breakaway do have a couple of former pro players in T and Spleen. However, the Ball Peen Hammers were looking very good in Intermediate Division last season. In Slap 1, and I think they've only improved since then. As for these two teams' uh, performances in tournament number one, the Ball Peen Hammers got a chance at a Pro Division spot. I forgot who they went up against, but they were unable to pull away the victory. I think they went up against the Chicago Sale, and the Sale took that series 2-0. As for the Bermuda Breakaway, they actually had to opt out of tournament number one due to not having anybody really available for it. So... They are coming back in a big way here in tournament number two. It'd be the only one that they need to play. The prediction still even as we're up to 6k channel points for each team at this point. Does not surprise me. Up to 7k for each team now. The boat's pretty even so far. Can't really blame anyone. as it's slightly leaning more towards the hammer than the breakaway. So just make sure everybody is ready and then we will get this one going. Breakaway are ready. Hold on, do I have the... Okay, yeah, team colors are correct. That's good. We don't need to like change the scoreboard after we uh, get thrown into the game. Alright, everybody is ready. So let's get our last match of the night underway. Hammers in red. 
Bermuda breakaway in blue. Here we go as Yertle off the faceoff looking for a chance. Loses that puck to Flaccid. Flaccid looking. Battling of Cherry. Cherry will get the puck away from him, but now T will battle for it. Cherry and T on the boards. T will get control of it. Try to get that pass to Flaccid. It gets blocked. T around boards. Finds Flaccid. Flaccid looking for a shot. Sends it around to T. T back behind the net here. Skating it out. Looking. Get, loses that puck to HCR who tries to put it on net. Can't quite do it. HCR pass back to Cherry. Cherry. Not only a flaccid here, we'll get that pass over to HCR who takes that shot wide of the net. T looking. Skating this one up, getting that pass over. As that one gets sent out in front of the net by Flaccid. Brady takes that shot just wide of the net. Cherry sends it around boards. It goes right to Brady. We'll skate this one back here. Move it around Yurtle. Get that pass up to Flaccid. Flaccid one on one against Cherries. Goes off both posts. And out of the net. How can you get more unlucky than that? Flaccid in another shot. Blocked by Cherry. Yurtle with Flaccid right on him. Two of them battling here in the corner. Yurtle gets it out. We'll lose it to Brady. Brady skates it back. Gets it in front of his own net here. Passes that one over to Flaccid. Flaccid will lose it to HCR. HCR trying to skate this one in for the hammers. He gets sent away by Flaccid. Cherry in the corner here. Skating it around. Getting it away. Trying to get that pass up to Yurtle. Gets sent back here. Flaccid and Cherry going to fight. Cherry gets away with that one. Takes the long shot and puts it into the breakaways net to give the ball peen hammers a one to nothing lead. Over the Bermuda breakaway and a nice shot there by Cherry. Now Brady off the face off. Just dumps it back behind the net. Flaccid looking with this puck here. Sends it around. Boards can't find T. HCR sending that one down. Ice Brady right there. Passes that one back at the Flaccid. Flaccid on the boards. Gets away with that puck. Gets it over to Brady who takes the shot off the side of the net. That puck is sent around boards again. Flaccid get a battle of Yurtle. Yurtle will come away with that puck. Give it back to Cherry's back behind the Hammer's net. Cherry's trying to skate that one around. Can't quite get anything out of his zone here. ST. Good pass out to Brady. Brady looking for the shot just wide of the net. T again. Cherry on him. Send it around boards and find Flaccid. Flaccid back to T. T around boards. Can't find anybody in that pass there. Goes all the way back into the breakaway zone. They'll regain control of the puck here. And dump it away. Cherries. Not only a Flaccid. We'll get control of it. Skate it around. Brady will take it away here. Look. Send it around boards. Find Flaccid. Flaccid. We'll send it back around. We'll not get to Brady as HDR stops it. Pass it back to Cherries. Cherries. It's that one to Yurtle, who gets it to Cherries. Cherries, the battle with Brady here on the boards, keeps it away from him. Skates this one up and dumps it away. Flaccid will take control here. As we approach two minutes left, it's a one to nothing game. The ball peen hammers have that one to nothing lead. We'll send it around boards to Yurtle. Yurtle back around boards to HCR. Puck does not connect as Cherries passes this one over to Yurtle. Yurtle center ice he loses that one to Brady. Yurtle again. Back behind the Bermuda net. Sends it out to HDR. HDR puts it back behind said net to Yurtle. Yurtle can't find anything with that puck. Cherries hands it off to HDR. HDR takes that shot wide of the net. Brady. And it away from Yurtle who will take control of the puck here. Looking for a pass out. Will find HDR. HDR trying to get that one back to Yurtle. T gets in the way. T. Put it away from Yurtle. Send it around boards to Flaccid. Flaccid back to T. T, skating it up here, skates out in front of his own net, keeps skating it up, tries to find that pass to Brady, but Brady can't get a stick on it. We're going to approach a minute left here, still a 1-0 lead for Pennsylvania, can they maintain it? As Cherries loses that puck to Flaccid, who puts it towards the Hammers net. But not quite on net there, as it just glides past. Now Flaccid loses that one out in front of his own net, but good stop there in the shot. Keeping this one a one goal game, T, skating this one up. Looking, center ice, gets that pass to Brady. Brady, can't get it out to Flaccid, Cherry sends it away. T now, back to Flaccid. Flaccid, pass HZR, up to T. T looking out to Brady, Brady can't get that one on net, HZR dumps it away. T, looking, skate this one around, we'll lose that puck to HZR, but we'll get it back. T, try to get that one to Flaccid, Flaccid sends it around boards to Brady. 
Brady will lose control of it. Flaccid will get it. Hand it off to Brady. Brady will lose the control of that one at center ice. Yertle shuns that shot wide. Under 10 seconds left. Brady gets control of the puck. Looks. Will get it up to Flaccid. Flaccid kick and a shot off. Gets one last chance, but Cherries makes the save. And game number one will go to the ball peen hammers. One to nothing. Over. The Bermuda breakaway. A pretty slow and methodical game as the Hammers found the one shot that they needed to take the win there. Okay, never mind. Hammers are all ready. So let's get game number two underway. Game number one went to the Pennsylvania Ball Peen Hammers, one to nothing. How will game number two go as T skates this one back, hands it off to Brady. Brady will send that one around boards, find Placid, who will send it back to Brady. This one is underway. Muta lost game number one, one to nothing, and are now down in our series by the same score here as HCR sends that shot way wide. The breakaway is net. Now T with the puck in the corner. For a pass out here, it gets kind of stopped. Now T again, fighting with Cherries on the boards. Cherries will skate this one back. Pass it around boards to Yertle. Yertle looking. Send it back around boards to Cherry. Cherry back to Yertle. Yertle with Flaccid trying to pressure. Yertle will send it around. Find Cherry. Cherry back to Yertle. Hammer's certainly taking their time on this one. Yertle back to Cherries who takes that shot. It goes off the post and HZR can't find the rebound shot. T now. I get that pass up the flaccid. It gets blocked. Cherries. Can't find anything there as Brady. Take control of the puck here for the breakaway. Skating it around. Look at that pass up the flaccid. Flaccid looking for a shot. Skates out in front of the net. Gets stopped by Cherries. Now T looking for a chance. Can't find one. Brady. Good pass to flaccid. Flaccid trying to get that one back out to Brady. Can't connect. T looking in front of the net. Takes that shot. Good save by HZR. Yertle now. Skating this puck around here for the Hammers. We'll lose that one to Flaccid who gets it out to Brady. And finally, the breakaway have broken the ice here. Get their first goal of the series on a nice shot there by Brady B. And makes it a one to nothing Bermuda lead. Over Pennsylvania here as Flaccid will try to take control of that puck. And Cherries will leave it behind. Flaccid takes that shot. Yertle makes the stop. Yertle around board sends that one to T. T shot off the side of the net. T another chance. Can't put that one in. Flaccid with the puck, looking, skates it around, gets out in front, takes that shot, gets blocked by Cherries. A cherry again, looking, can't do much with it here as T just trying to walk it in, can't do it. Flaccid now brings it out in front, gets stopped by Yertle. <laughs> Hammers are just holding down a brick wall here in front of the net. As Flaccid gets it around, boards to Brady. Brady gets it back up to Flaccid. Yertle will take control of that puck here. Just dump it away for the Hammers. Bermuda will have to reset up here. Flaccid on the co in the corner. Gets it back over to Brady. Brady trying to get that one around. Boards to T. Yertle takes control of it. Gets it out to HZR who can't get that shot on net. Brady to T. T up to Flaccid who's missed just wide on that shot. Now Flaccid trying to bring that one out in front of the net. Yertle stops it. Flaccid again. Looking. Send it around boards. Find Brady. Brady. From center ice trying to get that one black back to Flaccid. I don't know why my brain has such a problem saying Flaccid. As now Yertle in the corner. Two minutes left. Hammers down by one. Can they find a way to tie this game up? Or will Bermuda hold their lead and take game number two? Forcing game number three in this best of three series. As I say that immediately the Hammers tie it up. With a goal here by Yertle and the nice pass by HZR. As that will make it a one-to-one -one game. Now Brady off the faceoff takes that shot. Cherry stops it but sends that puck right to Flaccid. And just like that, two back-to-back -back goals. One for the Hammers. The next one for the breakaway as they retake their one-goal lead. Two-to-one here. For a game that's been so quiet so far. A couple of quick goals there, and another one for Flaccid here as he steals this puck away. 
from Cherries and puts it in to the Pennsylvania net. 3-1. to one. T now off the faceoff, looking for a shot here, trying to get that puck to flaccid. HDR sends it down, ice just wide. Brady now. Send it around boards right to Cherries. Cherry skating it. Flaccid on him. Cherry will keep it away from Flaccid. Look, we'll try to send that one down. Ice T will try to get the pass out to Flaccid. Flaccid trying to put that one on net. HDR right there. Cherries looking. Gets it to Yurtle. Yurtle skating this one in. Flaccid will send that puck down. Ice Cherries will not stop it, but luckily for him, the puck is wide of the net. T trying to get it around board to Flaccid. Doesn't connect. HDR. Passing this one over to Cherry. Cherry will not get to that puck. Flaccid does it again. HDR trying to get that puck to Cherries, but Flaccid gets there first. Puts it into an open net, making it a 4-1 game now for the Bermuda Breakaway. As they are in prime position to take game number two. HDR will get that puck. Take that shot. T, good stop. T now trying to get that puck out of his zone. Sits out in front of his own net there, though. That's fine. I will satiate the request. Give the T ISO cam. So he'll battle with Yurtle here and dump it away. We can stay on the T ISO cam here for the rest of this one, as this is going to be a Bermuda breakaway victory here in game number two. Yurtle puts it back behind the breakaway's net. T will just hold on to that one, and that will be a Bermuda breakaway victory. 4-1 over the Pennsylvania Ball Peen Hammers. Series is tied 1-1. Game 3 coming up next. Winner takes a pro division spot for season number 1. Who can do it? Looks like Cherries is taking a quick break. So we will wait to get game three underway. Hopefully not too long. I kind of need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I can hold it for one more game though. Alright. We are ready to go here for game number three. Game 1 went to the Pennsylvania Ball Peen Hammers, 1-0. Game 2 went to the Bermuda Breakaway, 4-1. Who will win game number 3 here as we get this one started? T off the faceoff, looking for a shot. Takes it, Cherry stops it. Brady will dump that one off to the side as we are underway here. Brady skates this one up, can't get the pass to T. Try to pass that one back to Flaccid. Flaccid will take control of this one back behind the breakaway net. Trying to skate it out here, but Yurtle will take control here for the Hammers. Hand this one off to Cherries. Cherries over to HCR. HCR back out to Cherry. Cherry chance will lose control of that one in front of the net, but the breakaway kick and it's sent away. They somehow let that puck get past them and in, and just 30 seconds into this one, the Hammers take a one to nothing lead. As HCR can't get control of that puck. Brady, good pass out to Flaccid. Flaccid can't do much with it. As now Cherries looking, trying to get that one down. Ice Flaccid is in the way. And you know what? We can get a bit of pup cam, puck cam here. Get a bit of a close up on the action. As the breakaway try to challenge here in the Pennsylvania zone. And it works to perfection as T takes control of this puck. Stopping that dump attempt from Cherries. And puts it into the Pennsylvania net to tie it up one to one. A cherry trying to get that pass over to HDR. HDR looking. We'll lose that puck to T. Brady now. We'll actually not get that one. It will be flaccid as Yurtle will skate it back. Yurtle now looking. Try to get that puck up to HDR. HDR looking for a chance here. T will dump it off to the side. T now. Skating this one around. Try to get that pass out to Brady. Brady misses on the shot. Game freezes a bit there as Flaccid will take control of the puck. Try to get that one out to T. 
looking. Cherry will take control of this one. Skate it around. That one gets sent back towards the Pennsylvania net. As Yurtle will take control here, get that pass up to HCR. HCR, blue line. Battling of T. Yurtle will try to get this one back here. We'll skate it back to the Pennsylvania zone and get reset up here for the Hammers. T has already gotten one goal blocking off dump attempt. We'll not get one there. Yurtle will get that pass up to Cherries. Lassen now in the corner. We'll dump that puck away and into the Pennsylvania zone. Where Brady will actually take control of this one. Get it out to T. T takes that shot wider than that. Yurtle now. We'll skate it back here. Get that pass to Cherries. Cherries looking. Setting up here for the Hammers. Losing control of that puck. Yurtle will take control of it here. We'll send it around boards. And this one will go back to T. T going to battle of Cherries. Just maintain control of this puck here. We'll get that pass over to Flaccid. Flaccid will not get to it. Cherries will take control. Cherries skating this one up here for the Hammers. Gets it past T. T can escape back here, though, as Brady B takes control of that puck. T sends it away from the front of the net. Loses control of it, though. Now Flaccid center ice trying to dump it away. HDR takes that shot wider than that. T again sitting up here for Bermuda. Skating it around. Looking for a pass. Look at that pass over to Brady. Brady looking. Shot blocked by Cherries. Cherries trying to get that pass up to HDR. Can't quite connect on it. Now HDR will dump it back by the Bermuda net. T again will take control of this one. Send it around boards to Flaccid. Flaccid. Wait for a chance here. Going to battle off HDR. HDR. As that puck will find its way to Yurtle. Yurtle now will skate this one back to Cherries. Cherries. We'll lose that one at center ice. T will take control. No, Cherries will take it away here. Bounce off the boards. Now Brady B will take control of it. Around boards, T will take control of that puck. Yurtle right there. T skating it around. We'll send that one down ice. Cherry's right there to take it. Takes that shot, T. Good stop. Brady Boy trying to send it away. Goes right to Cherry's. Cherry's trying to get that one to Flaccid. T now. On the boards here, Flaccid will take control of the puck. Skate this one up. Shot way wide. But Brady will take control of the, this one here for the breakaway. Get it to Flaccid. Flaccid looking for an opportunity. We'll get it out. To T. T over to Brady. Cherries back behind the Pennsylvania net here. A minute left. We'll lose that puck to Flaccid. Brady open net. And that will be a goal here for the Bermuda breakaway. Two to one. Our score. The breakaway take the lead. With under a minute left. Can they maintain it? As HDR back behind the Bermuda net. Brady will send it around. Boards will go right to Yurtle. Yurtle shot wide. Cherries now on the boards here. Pass it back to Yurtle again. Yurtle back over to Cherries. Cherries. We'll try to get that one to Yurtle. It'll miss and it'll go back to HDR. Blasted. Looking. Skating this one around here. We'll try to send that one around. Boards to Brady. Does not connect. Cherries in the Bermuda zone. Looking for a chance here. Tries to get that one out to Yurtle. Doesn't connect. HDR now. Skating this one around, looking for a chance. Gets that one out in front of the net. Flaccid stops him. Cherries, again, gets this one out to Yurtle. Yurtle, 10 seconds left, gets it to Cherries in the corner. Cherries, out to Yurtle again. Yurtle, can't find anybody on that pass. T, just going to try to rag it against the boards and will as the Bermuda breakaway take game number three, two to one, and will take the series by the same score as they have earned a pro division spot here for season number one. Congratulations to them. A well-fought series there against the Pennsylvania Ball Peen Hammers. As once again, they will be taking home that last pro division spot. Everybody who bet on the breakaway, here is your points. And now, let me actually get the graphics ready here. Just give me a second. Now we have our next four pro division teams as they are the Toronto Penguins, the Brooklyn Bandits, the Quebec Baguettes, and the Bermuda Breakaway. Are your four teams earning a pro division spot here tonight? Congratulations to all of them. We can take a look here also at the total teams here in Pro Division so far. 
And so far in Pro Division, we have the Columbus Clappers, the Chicago Sail, the St. Cloud Storm, the Yosemite Grizzlies, the Toronto Penguins, the Brooklyn Bandits, the Quebec Baguettes, and the Bermuda Breakaway. We still have two more pro spots up for grabs though, and one more tournament to get through. Tournament number three, or qualification tournament number three, will be beginning already tomorrow night with another set of group stage play. I don't think we actually have graphics ready for the group stages this time around, if I'm not mistaken. No, we do not. So, uh, just pay attention to the Discord, pay attention to the uh, site. We get everything set up here for the next tournament. And once again, as always, thank you guys for watching. I do very much appreciate it. Thank you for all the follows, bits, subs, whatever I am, may, may have missed. Once again, it's all very much appreciated. And of course, make sure to check out the SPL Discord, the SPL website. If you want to catch, uh, if you want to learn more about the uh, Slapshot Premier League, or if you want to join. Anyways, that'll be it for me tonight. And I'll catch you guys back here tomorrow night for even more Slapshot action.